first thing that I'm just going to show you is where those permissions and permission levels are. So I start off by going to the gear at the top right. I go to site permissions. And this is that very easy interface that I mentioned before where you can go ahead and just invite people and add members. And that is what you're going to do most of the time. So th what we're talking about in this section is the advanced concepts. So go to advanced permissions settings. And this is where we get to just sort of this classic look of the this permissions concept. So first, this is the first thing we'll see is this is the site level, and these are the permissions applied at the site level. So I can see that the travel members, those are all the people that I've clicked add member and I've added those people. That is who that is, the travel members. My name, the name of my site is travel. So I can see by default, they have that edit permission level that I was referring to. And then travel owners have full control and travel visitors are read only. And then if I click on travel members, I can see, and this is a little odd. So inside of here, it just says travel members again. Well, that is actually the Microsoft 365 group. So when I add people as members and the easy little simple interface on the home screen. It actually puts them in that Microsoft 365 group, which is why you don't see all their names listed here. So this is the, the group that they are in. I know it's a little confusing.